about 300 people in the room, and they invited me. I went there, and I wore a mask. Yeah. And I was the only person in the room wearing a mask. <laughs> you want to talk about how odd it felt, but, but the point is, they respected that, and they applauded that I was there, and there was no issue about what I had to do or not do, or cancel culture, or shaming, or anything else. So I give credit to them for that. And that type of attitude, I need to have every political uh, ideology embrace the same concept. Respect each other. If you have a difference of opinion, it's not the end of the world. And if someone disagrees with you, do not try to destroy their life. Really? The fact that our employers, the fact that employers are doing that, well, one shame on them, right? Entertain well, entertainment world is very big on cancel culture. The entertainment world, they they pride themselves on their wokeness, but in reality. They're as blind as the next person because they claim that they see and understand these things while they shut their eyes to something else. So they're not improving the situation. And, and I, I poke fun at the woke crowd because some of the things they do are kind of funny. But the point is they have a right to have that opinion. We have to defend their right to have that opinion. Well, that's a crime actually. I put it this way. I've called them, like five times I've called them. They've doxed my personal apartment address. They've doxed my business address because I fought for freedom for you guys too. The Beverly Street Rally, I supported the police. But I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm a little pissed off because what he did in protest, we asked the sheriff to intervene because these people were threatening us. And twice we asked them, they didn't do anything. And guess what? I have fake news about me. All right, well, let's, let's, let's slow down. We'll talk about that. And in fact, yes, we need to get some information on that. But I'll tell you this. There's a group, I won't mention the name because I want to give them any credibility, but they took the time and energy to put my name and address on banners and they stretched it over 11 freeway overpasses. The ultimate form of doxing. Yes. And I did have people show up at my house. Okay, so that's a crime. Yes. Doxing is a crime. And we will aggressively... Well, we will aggressively... We have prosecuted doxing, or not prosecuted, investigated. Okay, hold on. Hold on, ma'am. I need you to talk to Lorena, share the information, and uh, we'll address that, all right? So the point is, everyone deserves a seat at the table. The failure of city and county government, and listen very closely, this is the failure. Why they keep, every single thing they do is destined to failure. Because every single seat is occupied by the woke crowd. No one else is entitled to a seat there. That's why you have the public safety uh, advisory uh, council for the MTA board. Said, yeah, let's uh, get rid of the cops and let's do outreach and we'll hire ambassadors. They're unarmed, so they're less intimidating to the riders. I go on the, the subways for a day. I went on the, the blue line, the green line, and the expo line. Every single person said, can we see more of you? Yeah. Every single person. And you know that, that public safety committee, they voted 14 to nothing to get rid of cops and replace them with ambassadors. So that is where that's how sausage is made at the county level, literally. The formula is, is cooked because I don't have someone like him sitting on there saying, well, you know what? I actually want to see law enforcement doing their job and be present. The ridership is plummeting, unless you ask the MTA board. Everyone is excited about jumping on a bus or a train and get killed. But anyway, let's hear it.
We got some news to deliver, but I can't relieve it. Yes, go ahead.